Hello everybody, I am DeGroot. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Today we're going to be doing something that I've been looking forward to uh, for a while now. And it's right down here. And that's we're going to be attending our Beast class. I got that little DLC that came with the game where you get a hippogriff or grip or uh, I'll get the word right eventually. Uh, so we got to get this probably so that I could start riding around on them and it's gonna be awesome so here we go let's do it gotta wait all right waiting over let's begin this is gonna be fun <laughs> plus welcome everyone Ooh, I'll be quiet I see you've already met Professor some Howard. of the many beasts we study in this class though be advised oh, none Zanotto. of these creatures should be taken lightly they are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it hmm. seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some hmm. time to review the basics of how That's to That's why they went beast, extinct. They just disappeared and went somewhere else. Miss Sweeting, would you Sweetie? please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Aww. Don't She's worry adorable. about Professor Howen's speech. She over exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are oh, look at it. So oh. cute. Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery puff devil. Puffskin. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Here. Dirty mind. You can practice on Gerald. Just Gerald? Keep an eye for his tongue. Hi, Gerald. You're adorable. <laughs> Hello. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. I'm gonna brush. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Uh, let's see. The beast petty brush is used to nurture magical beasts. Tap right directional button. And then the sign, the beast petty brush. That's, oh, that's part of my spell set? Interesting. <clears throat> okay, we're doing it. Oh, that's lovely. I'm sure he feels Aww. much better. I think he might be hungry. Feed. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Really? Okay. Uh, same thing as before, huh? Man, I'm getting all kinds of new spells. That's fun. All right, now how about some treats? Here you go. <laughs> what do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. Everything's pudding to you, British people. I think you can safely people. say that Gerald likes you. Oh, That's good news. He seems very nice. He's a he cutie. Is. Kindness is one of his best qualities. <laughs> right after ambition. And cleanliness. Mm, not bad. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. Okay. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Right. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? Measles? Is that like a weasel? This but, way. You know, the extra are over knees. Here. It's got like multiple joints. Looks like a rodent of some kind from here. Oh, a couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Stupid thing. Oh, that's not. What in Merlin's name are you that's doing? Not, no. Don't do that. Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. That's not nice. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> that's really not funny. Just right cross. Yeah, I'm the fancy lad. <sighs> Let's go. I'm gonna bust that guy's face later. I guarantee it. This is a big kitty cat. Aww. Hello, big kitty Those cat. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. <clears throat> All right, can I feed Let's them first? Feed and brush the measles, just as you did with Gerald. There you go. Food for you. 
Food for you. Food for you. Eat up nom noms. Nom noms for kitties. Now we get to do the brush. Guess I could have mapped them both. Okay, now time for you brush. Brush to cut kitty cat mom mom mom. The measles really took to you. <laughs> they know a good egg when they see one. As do I. Your turn. It appears our time has come to an end. Oh wait, I got one more. Please close the pens and now. I got one. No, I got one more. Okay, there we go. Don't you tell me what to do, Professor Howen. I will pet the kitty. You will not stop me. My will to pet the kitty is stronger. All right. Wait, what? Ah, there are puff kids over here. They need love. Pet. Pet. <clears throat> I must pet the animals. I selected the wrong thing. I need the food, dummy. You big dummy, get the food. Here we go. Oh, can I feed him in the wild too? That'd be cool. Nom noms for you. Yes, yes, yes. Very cute, very cute. Now for the other one, I give you nom noms as well. See, I'm going for extra credit, you know. I know I could just move on, but, ah, you know. <laughs> nom nom nom. Good. Can I go in? I can go in, right? Hi. Hello, big kitties. How are you? I wish I could just reach down and regular pet you. All right. Good to see you. Ooh. Oh, hi, guys. You guys hungry? Here. There you go. And then for you. Everybody's going to get some food. And for the one in the back, here you go, Pally. Yeah, see, I could do this all day. I could just feed these animals. Whoa! <laughs> I like him. I like that little guy. He's got some moves. All right, who wants a little brushy brush? We'll go in the order that we did this before. Here you go, pal. Yeah, feels good. Your turn. And where's the, there he is. Boom, there you go. And finally, last but not least, here you go. Oh yeah, good scrubs. All right, guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> I think that's all of them. All right, now I'll talk to you, Professor Howen. Hello, too much Professor. Fun. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? I'm enjoying myself. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, mm. they can play a vital role mm. in our lives. The work Some controlled. provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Right, that jerk. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. I'll just forego and just as bad as cap him right in the back of the knee. Rookwood's poacher yeah. pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Ooh. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. Yes. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. I'm gonna go rogue. An optimistic idea. I'm gonna be the now, Batman of this why world. Why don't we focus on more immediate <laughs> matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that mm. I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth Oh, boy. Years. Thanks, Professor Weasley. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, hey. I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Will do. Can I ride my mount now? No. I have one. Hey, I just don't have a... a... Come on. Yes? What's up? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again 
for saying something to those brutes hey, so that I didn't have to. You know. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good Don't thing. Don't know what that is. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. Oh, thank you. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor right? thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. What? You've intrigued me. Very well. I'm pretty sure she's younger than you, dude. I'd hoped I would. Tread lightly and carefully. Cute girls wanted to meet you in the forest. Um, I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, see what I mean? The first. You be oh my god. Really? Calm down. Well, thank you. Calm down. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. No, we don't. <sighs> He's a teenage like boy. The we're having. Don't you, you think? know what he's thinking. Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. <laughs> Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Oh man, you're gonna meet like a what they cut. I still is a hippogrin, a hippogrid. Stand back. Maybe. Heck yeah! That's exactly what it is. Ah, it's majestic. It's beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. Please meet High Wing. Hello, High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? <laughs> Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy Hippogriff. before you Hippogriff. approach Hippogriff. Bow. Atta boy. I shall bow again. Oh. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. Okay. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the pasties. castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Aww. Little hearts. Hang on, let me get this now. So that... <laughs> I found my new favorite thing. High wing. Oh. I don't think she wants that kind of food. If you remember from the movie. Want something a little more gaming, if you know what I mean? Oh. Cool. There's a bug in my left ear. It's driving me crazy right now. I don't know if you can hear that. So, what did you think of High Wing? Majestic. Beautiful. I thought she was brilliant. Brilliant! I can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. <clears throat> Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the <laughs> Forbidden Forest? Perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? Oh. I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Oh. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howard I'll mentioned smack the poachers them around as well. For you. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, Actually lingering, took out talking some to people. While They're cruising around something. the other day. I'm just not sure what. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That does seem strange. Right. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. Mm. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Uh, I would be careful. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Hyrule safe. Da, 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 da. You seem undeterred. 
Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Sure. Okay, so, at this point, in the story. Damn. I was hoping I was going to get to ride mine from the uh, DLC. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, let's see what's, uh, uh, what else we got on our quests. Let's do something else. Find out what Galdwin Moon wants. Find Lodgok the Goblin. Lodgok the Goblin? Which one of these is that? Galdwin Moon, the Hogwarts caretaker, wishes to speak with me about something. I should find him near the reception hall. Is this part of... Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Learn to Foso. First of Sharp's assignment. Pop balloon. See so yeah, how we do that later. First of Garlic's assignment. Acquire and use a venomous tentacula. I don't even know where to get those. Maybe I have to buy them. As to Poso on Levitate Enemy, but I need to learn to post. Right, and I don't have that yet. No. Uh, well, okay. I guess let's do the Caretaker uh, Lunar Lament. This is the guy that has a interesting voice. Looks like we're going here. Uh, how about a little fast travel there? That should get me close enough. Don't want to walk too much. Okay, up the stairs. What was that? You know what? Uh, as much as I like how I look. Well, first of all, I should probably see if I got upgrades. I do. Bang. <laughs> and then... Going in high... I don't know. I said I've been digging my shun glasses. Actually, I think I like these better. And then we got a new scarf. Let's see if we got upgrade there. No, not really. But I am going to change how I look. There we go. Look more like a student. I'm having fun with it, but at the same time... I must wear the proper school attire. There we go. Looking stylish. Although, you know, this still looks cool. Uh, and then... I do still prefer this one. Good. There, I look like a proper student. Now I can continue. <gasps> it's you. Are they having fun? I hear you, but where are you? Snobia, where are you? Oh, is that you? There you are. Are you having fun? So somebody's doing magic over here. Alright, 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 hey, 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 hey. Come on, brain. Focus. <laughs> I'm being distracted by everything going on around me. I mean, I guess one of the cool things about this game, there's a lot of, like, little things that happen as you're just wandering around. Hey, there's a person hey, here that. It's me, Gareth. Oh, uh, hey, Gareth. Blowing yourself up recently, have you? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. 
after you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, yeah. I reckoned you might be just the person I need. Oh boy. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage. Really? But I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> Is it talent in brewing things and not exploding them? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm all you in. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So. I he is a Weasley. The key ingredient so in fizzing whispies is dried billywig stings. Ah, I have to store them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. You mean steal them? I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar? Sounds like it's off limits. Yeah, sounds like Not stealing, man. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Oh, boy. How about this? Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Yeah, this is stealing, though. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. So? It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed. Trust me. Uh, fine. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. No guarantees I'm going to actually go you do it. You shall be the first one to taste my newest I don't brew be if a you thief. can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Actually. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Hypocrisy, thy name is me. Because I have been just wandering around opening I'll need to get chests. those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. And people's, concoction. uh, you know, oh, now I switched my, switched my quest, so now you switch it back. But yeah, I've been just going around taking stuff out of people's houses, so I guess. A one-eyed witch hmm. statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Anyhow, I swear there's got to be something to those. Oh, looks like we're going to be waiting here. All right, is he here? Yep, there he is. Hey, Ga Gladwin, how are you? Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker. The voice coming out of that service. face. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady. Not because he's Asian, all right? I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose hmm. you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. All right. What you need? Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. How long do we stand there? Okay. So it goes invisible. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Okay. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Huh. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. <laughs> Ever since that fateful okay. day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. Huh. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. <laughs> you see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart. Oh. Or shapeshifter, if you will. Yeah. Uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. Yeah, I know. I know what this it is. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Oh, those Holy things. Unnerving. Yeah. I encountered I'm just one gonna... when I was a man in Korea. Uh... Terrible experience. Uh, those 
statues are demigods. There we go. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Oh. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear mm. and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. Oh, do you? It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. Okay. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? Hmm. A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Yeah. Second, the fan letters are as overwhelming. As a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, we can get the ghost. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I just. I'd be Let's glad just to do help it. you, Mr. Moon. Let's do oh, it. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Oh. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get <gasps> in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Ah, oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like <laughs> me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. Well, and I took advantage of it. I'm always wondering. Oh, everyone loved me for it. Even at night. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue Glory in the prefect's days. bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, prefect's bathroom, hospital wing. Oh, I actually haven't gone to the hospital wing yet. Oh, boy. All right. Bop. 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 Bingo. Yes! I can unlock locks now. Don't mind if I do. Let's get that sucker mapped up. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I know what that is. Conjuring spells. Why am I not seeing it? Approach and interact with a lock. Alohomora. Oh. I thought I had to. Oh, jeez. Use L and R to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated. I'm having difficulty figuring out what I'm supposed to be doing. Wait. Am I close? Oh, wait. Okay, I see. Oh, there we go. Oh, I get it. You just got to turn it until you find the... Well done. You're in. Right, uh, Remember, position. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. Right. This is a restricted area of the castle. Right. Okay. Okay, so... Alohomora. This ought to be interesting. Bang. Uh-oh. Somebody might be getting good at things. 
Well, I'm here. I might as well get some stuff. Bang. A little bit of money. I got a letter. Dear Mirabelle, my dear Dot has been asking after you. Perhaps I could convince her to stop in for a butter beer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants. The more fragrant ones? Ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of, believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hoping to see you soon with or without the plants. Your friend, Serona. Mirabelle. Are you talking about my wife? Is that her first name? You'd think I'd know. Professor Garlic? I mean, it would make sense. Ooh, what's in this room? I'm guessing that this one's probably beyond me. Oh no, it's just level one. Uh, return additional moons to go in order to learn higher levels. Oh, okay. Spin. Revelio. I was just curious. If the <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> there are any pages here? Hmm. Wonder whose room this is, or if it's a room at all. Okay, so we're looking upstairs. Ooh. Casa Revelio reveals authority figures and enemy locations. Oh, that's handy. Ah, I see red. Revelio. Which way are you looking? Oh, you're looking that way? Okay. Okay, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I need to go upstairs still, so let's just go ahead and do that. And, oh, there's a couple people there. We're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Ooh. Yes, well. I know Arcanine. It's the legendary fire dog. Revelio. There's another person up there. Uh, this is getting to be a bit much. My, how close am I to that person I saw? Not very? Okay. Oh, there they are. Oh, 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 no. Go down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs. All right. He left. Yikes. Go, 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 go. Wait, then you go in here? This must be the prefect's bathroom. Hopefully, uh, I got enough time. Right there. Oh, 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 oh. Tease it, tease it, tease it. Find it, find it. Love it. <coughs> Why is the bathroom locked? It's kind of odd. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. How am I good if I... Yeah, I don't think they're looking, so... Anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. My marching professor Hecate's class is Got it! There we go. One down, one to go. How dare you speak to a prefect that way? How dare you? I'm a prefect too, you twit. That's <laughs> it. health point. I don't think they have the authority for that. Revelio. Oh, did he move on? Oh, good, 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 good. Um, hang on. I am easily distracted. I must collect. Revenue. Oh, sweet. There's a waypoint, so I could just come back whenever I want. Ooh, there's a whole group of them there. Ugh. 
Not at the moment, no. My wife! Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way. Is there multiple doors here? Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but... No! You didn't, you didn't see anything! You didn't see anything! Oh! I got greedy. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, try again. I was about to get disciplined by her. <laughs> okay, let's not do that again, shall we? Oh, no! That's not fair. Make me do the whole thing over again? Crap. Oh! Speed run. Revelio. I have to come back and do all these little side mission things. Crap, all a man. Does that mean anything that I collected's also gone now? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, ooh, leveled up. Nice. Okay, can I can I do the thing? Thanks. All right, we're focusing, focusing. Don't get distracted by chess and runes. Uh, I hate to have to do that over again, just because I got greedy. So, should I have waited, or... Hang on, let me back down just a little bit. Wait for him to walk away. Just walk away, man! Come on, just walk away! Or just keep standing there. Or go see what that noise was. Which is... I, I can't... Wait, no! Oh, 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 wait, oh... Oh, now he's gonna come back down. Crap. My bad. I thought I had to go get it again. Turns out I didn't. <sighs> Alright, buddy. You need to not be there. Let's see if I can get here. Hopefully he won't see me. What's over there? Why do you keep going upstairs? Revenio. You fool! I hate him. I think I hate him. No! Like, over there! Okay, how about here? Go over there. Huh, very interesting. Now, go somewhere else. This guy's driving me crazy. Can I just, like, knock him unconscious? No, I can't. Oh, come on, man. You're, like, looking the exact direction I need to go. Oh, that was smart. That's smart. I was looking over there, and it's like... No, you want it here. Crap. How do I get rid of this guy? Revenio. Maybe I could just run past him. That what what is this crap? He's just standing there looking at the staircase I need to go up. <clears throat> Alright, maybe this time... By doing that, he'll reset and actually go somewhere that's not in my way! Attempt number three. Another letter. Blah, blah, blah. Something about peeves. I'll read it later. Wizard. Did it say wizarding crackers notice? 
Interesting. Uh, fingers crossed this guy's not staring to where I need to be. And then, of course, when I try and get him to go somewhere else, he just goes upstairs. Also where I need to be. Alright, let's try this again. I want you to go over there. Atta boy! Good boy! Follow the sound! You fool! Sweet. Now I get this again. Can I only get it? I guess I already got it. Ah, uh, Professor Garlic. Huh. I had planned Don't look to this way, ladies. On Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? There's a child injured. Slither's gonna win. <laughs> that got their attention. Eek! <laughs> hey, ladies, could you go back to your conversation? Yikes. Oh, boy. I may have screwed up. I got greedy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Looks like they're going to go back to their positions. Thank goodness. If there ever is one, I suppose you should. I'll be in it, and you can watch me, and you can be proud of me. Oh, who saw me? Who was that? I don't know. I'm out of here. Running away. Okay, he's still at the stairs. Uh, look over there. If I surely you have better Oh come to on, do ladies! Detention by wandering where you shouldn't. Uh, that's not cool. But I got it. So is that? Is it gonna give it to me and just have me? Maybe this is a cheap way out. Oh no! Oh god! Wait, now they're gone. Hello, nurse. Okay, can't go that way. And that guy's watching the stairs. How am I supposed to get him out of there? Oh, right, I forgot I can aim. Hey, what's over there? That was interesting. Funny how that is. Bye. Yeah, I'll come back for all that stuff eventually. I think there's one more person, maybe? Revenue. Or is he gone now? Is he gone? Oh, uh, I want to. Oh, there you are. Which way are you looking? That way? Hey, you should look over... No, not there. Okay, I'm alright. You should see what's on that window. Oh, that window made a funny noise. Oh, what could it have possibly been? Maybe it's just the wind? Revenio. Hang on. Okay, no ma no last minute shenanigans. Ha ha! Great success. Hello, that Mr. took a Moon. lot longer than it should have. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh goodness! You're as fearless as I hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Correct. Okay. Of course, I. First suspected Peeves, he drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. Well, he's like but that, that way with everybody, though. But that in Oxmead, does it? No. No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. 
All right. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, I'll have to go back my friend, in and get more are a stuff. gentle person and a, a scholar. Oh. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Oh. Now, what is remember, it? the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Gotcha. Uh, how many are there? How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems to have a look. You have your work cut out for you. If you were to ever unravel their meaning. Hmm. Uh, I don't, I'm not worried about what Understood. I'll get. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Every mission's probably worth doing. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Gotcha. Don't you sh 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 shush. Don't shush me. Can I make that float? That'd be cool. Leviosa. No. So, sorry. Leviosa. <gasps> Giddy. Well, that was infuriating in a way. <clears throat> so now, if I want to get all those quest items over there, I'm gonna to have to uh, <sighs> go in there and cloaked and all that fun stuff. Well, that was fun. That was fun. What else we got? We got new quests. Fine. Oh, seriously, I don't know what this one is. Fine log. Lodgok the Goblin. Hmm. Gareth mentioned the statue, the one I blah blah blah. Man behind the moons, that's the one I'm working on. Okay, so there's nine of them. Ding ding. Uh huh. Okay, and I'll get Alamora two and three. Oh, that makes sense. I thought that was eleven. <laughs> I was like, wow, that thing has a lot of levels. A hundred and eleven? No, it's Roman numerals, you idiot. Okay, so we got a few things um, to try and accomplish. Side questing, I might need to do that. In my own time, I gotta figure out how to get these. But I feel like this one is important. But well, I still don't know what l that one is referring to the log logog. Is this something to do with this helm? Maybe that's what it has to do with. Okay. All right. So let's. Uh, <sighs> Something we got to do. So we got to learn to pulso. De pulso. In order to learn to pulso, I have to use a focus potion and an editor's potion simultaneously. I think I have those now. I'm pretty sure I bought them. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where do I find my potions? Inventory gear? No. Shouldn't it be in my inventory? I got yarping dogs upstairs. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, alphabetically. I got flies. I got that. Oh, I think I know how I can look. Alright, what was... It's, it's an Edoras. Okay, I have an Edoras. Got a Maxima. I don't have a Focus Potion. Purchase the recipe for focus potions for J. Pippet's potions. Ah, oh, I gotta spend my money. Yeah, yeah, that's understood, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Wait, I'm tracking something. Oh, I see. Well, let's go to J. Pippin's. It's right there. We'll uh, purchase the focus potion recipe. Well, shoot. If 
he has any other post recipes. On another adventure, are we? Yes, Ignatia or Ignatia. That's what I'm doing. Uh, here. Yeah, here it is. Hey, buddy. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Well, you can. Thank you again for delivering those potions ah, to recipes. Madame Long. Save me a lot of time and trouble. It's not cheap. But I'll buy a it. Wise decision. Thunder Brew. Thank you. Yeah, why not? Visibility. Cool. Maxima. Get it. And then I could just buy them, right? A wise decision. Thank you. Okay, so. I'm supposed to use them simultaneously. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. So do I have to initiate a battle in order to do that? So I would go like bap and then bap. Focus, Edoras. I can battle? Hang on. Okay, so I need a map. You. Really sell one to equip. Excellent. What does it even do? Uh, let's see. It says reduces the drink or spell cooldowns. Oh, that's actually really cool and important and something I should use. I am stuck. I oof. Okay, I was about to say bug report. So I guess let's go pick a fight with somebody because I have to do that, right? I have to actually use them. Oh, I have to use Maxima and Edoras. Oh. Well, I have them, so... How about I just use all three of them in, in a battle? Seems doable, right? Mine now, dummy guys. Wait, what? Mine now, Demi. What is he talking about? I hit square on X and he started talking smack. Ah, oh, sploosh. I just want to be able to get on my broom. Well, let's go find some bad guys to fight and see if that will do it. Oh, I see red. There's red over here. Are they doge? Ah! Oh, it is wolfsies. Okay. Okay, so let's do it. Alright, so we need to use... Can I just use it? No, I can't. Okay, focus potion. That's this one, right? Go bang. And then... Bang. And then Maxima. Excellent. Sorry, puppies. I'm sorry, but I need your stuff, and I needed to do this mission. Poor puppers. But, on the upside, I am now done. And I can attend potions class. Uh, and I will do that in the next episode. So that was exciting. Ooh, ah, ooh, I know. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. Hopefully you had a good time. If you did, be sure to show it by hitting the like button. And subscribe if you're new to the channel and haven't done so already. <sighs> it's kind of slow progress at times, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. So uh, next time we'll go to pot uh, potions class and learn our next spell so that we can progress in the mainline story. Sounds like fun. So... 
Anyways, thank you again for joining me, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. And until then, see ya.